Hey guys. We're Camel and Alia from Stingy Nomads and we're in Santiago de Compostela. We just finished our sixth Camino de Santiago. Yeah, we've walked six Caminos in the last year. <laughs> uh, we would like to share with you our experience, give you some useful tips that will uh, help you to plan your, your Camino de Santiago. Hopefully this will help you out. Yes. When walking in the Camino, there is no need to worry about getting lost. The whole way is marked with the yellow shells and yellow arrows. So you can find the signs everywhere. There are uh, in Galicia, there are distance poles where you can see the how how far is still to Santiago de Compostela. In other areas, they're just on the trees, on the ground, on the, on the poles, on the fences. They're always yellow arrows or yellow shells indicating the the direction. No GPS or map needed. Easy to find your way. Yeah, we've uh, never got lost. Yeah. Yep. So this is the reception. We actually we've, we've already done a check-in. Yeah, we got our disposable bedding and yeah, paid uh, six euro each and got stamps. So this is the common area, like a couple of tables, our huge shopping bags, and the kitchen, the electric stove, and pots, some cutlery, uh, plates, glasses, and the microwave. And the dormitories are on the second floor. We're actually the only people so far here, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little bit dark. I'll switch on the light now. If I find where. Oh, here it is. So you can see there are two dormitory rooms. Ah, okay, this one is locked. And this is um, room B. This is our room. It's quite nice, a big window, I love big windows. You can see nice, nice sort of view on the river. And yeah, many bunk beds. This is our bunk beds. And there is a, a shower, there's a lady's shower here. And the light is good. Okay, let's see, so it's like basins. Hey guys. And uh, I guess that's yeah, that's just the toilet and this is a this is a shower. Oh that's it. We are in Sigueiro and we're staying in Albergue Camino Real. It's a private albergue because there are no public albergues in, in this town. Uh, you can see Campbell's on the phone. So what, uh, we're paying 15 euro per person for a bunk bed, but this price is really cool. So you can see it's like all this vegetable and coffee, tea, all the utensils you can use, and the breakfast is included, actually. And, uh, so it's, it's, it's quite big. They have private rooms as well, but all private rooms were fully booked, so we couldn't really choose a private one. You can see how there are all shampoos and shower gel and all kind of things. And uh, I just want to show you a quick uh, bathroom. Oh, so, so it's a toilet. Yeah, you can see. It's a toilet. It's a ladies' toilet. The showers are quite nice as well. Yeah, this is the shower. And I'll show you our dormitory. So you can have lockers here. And there's a couple of bunk beds. You see this our two bunk beds and then it's like a nice duvet and you get a towel. And we did our, I guess it's a, our, my bed looks like a mess. We just did the laundry. Yeah, you can do laundry here. You pay five euro for, uh, you just, you feed as much clothes as you can for washing and drying. Uh, this is, it's a really cool place. 
I mean, it's it's more expensive for double uh, that you usually pay for a public albergue. But first, we didn't really have a choice, and the second, this place is really nice and comfortable. And to finish our talk about the accommodation on the Camino de Santiago, now we are in Santiago de Compostela. That's uh, right behind you. That's the cathedral. And uh, well, I want to show you a special place. Uh, see this building? This is a hotel. The name is Hospitaria Seminario Mayor. Uh, this is actually a quite a fancy hotel, but they have special rooms for pilgrims. Uh, yeah, let's just go inside and have a look. So, you can book your rooms uh, beforehand on, online, uh, sending them email or by uh, phoning them. But I would suggest in high season, like now it's the end of May, book it like a couple of weeks beforehand. Because when we arrived yesterday and we didn't book beforehand and they didn't have rooms in the uh, next 10 days. So we're at the entrance to, to the hotel, and as I said, they have special rooms for pilgrims. And uh, for a single room uh, with a uh, attached bathroom, you pay 25 euro, and for a double room, 40 euro. I mean, in this location, being that close to the cathedral, look back again, um, you cannot find a better place to stay than this. It's our last day in Santiago de Compostela in Galicia and we decided to order a couple of typical dishes that's very popular in this region. Yeah, you cannot go more, more Galician than this. So we have Campbell love these tortillas. It's like an omelette with potato, egg potato and he has a chorizo tortilla. So we have here a pulpo a la gallega. It is a very typical food dish for the region. It's a cooked octopus. They boil it first and then fry it and serve it with a pepper and olive oil. And pimientos de padrón. This is a green peppers. They fry it and serve it with, with, uh, with salt. And to finish a typical Galician dinner, it's uh, café con leche and tarta de Santiago. It's uh, almond, almond cake. It's very typical for, for, for the area. Uh, we're in a, in a restaurant in Santiago and we want to show you what it is a menu del dia in, in Spain. A typical menu del dia. That you can, you can get it anywhere anywhere in Spain in any restaurant for, for lunch, obviously. So that is, this is a complete menu. You can see it's a, it, it consists of an entry. Uh, you, can, you have three options. Sometimes you have more, sometimes you have less. Then the main dish, you have again three options here. It's the same, sometimes you, you have more options or less options. And dessert. And it includes as well bread and uh, drink. It can be beer, wine, or cold drink, or water, and, and coffee. So this, uh, this particular menu costs 11 euro 50, but uh, they usually vary. Can get it between in Spain, it's between nine and uh, 11 12 euro per person. We only decided to order a first dish. I think one dish is enough for us. We had quite a big breakfast, but yeah, here you can see uh, we ordered the hamburger and we got some bread and olives to eat, snack on before, and a nice bottle of wine that we sharing between us um, that also came with the menu and then we will still have dessert and a coffee afterwards so as we said on the first day is our favorite breakfast that we usually get in Campbell's definitely favorite breakfast I love Tostada. Yeah, that's called tostada. It's a toasted bread uh, with olive oil and uh, tomato. Yeah, that's a tomato base. You know, it's kind of like a fresh tomato. Sometimes it does it, it, it differs. And uh, slices of local jamon. A uh, good coffee in tostada, and that it makes Campbell's day on the Camino. <laughs> So this is chocolate with churros. The churros is kind of um, it's a dough fried thing. It's it's almost like a kind of donut. I mean, it tastes a little bit like donut. 
And it is it's a typical breakfast in some parts of Spain. Well, how do you eat it? You take a churro, you dip it in your hot chocolate, and then you eat it. It's good, not too sweet. And, um, well, yeah, it's good. Uh, guys, a little bit about shopping and food on the Camino. So we, 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 we don't usually eat menu, do we? We usually make food or buy something in the supermarket. Yeah, we yeah. make food most of the yeah. time. So, and this is the, this is Dia. I think that's uh, probably the most common supermarket chain that you see almost in every town or city or village. Yeah, you can see this one is quite big, which is nice. Now we're gonna do big shopping. Well, we, we hit the supermarket on the way and we decided to do um, shopping for lunch. And there's, uh, you see, this uh, our favorite salads. We buy them a lot on the Camino every time when we see them. You, you have different options there with pasta, with, uh, with chicken. Yeah, you can see it's a pasta and chicken and cheese. It's like nice and it's always fresh. And this one with goat cheese and, uh, and rucola. Yeah, and Caesar salads are in there, different, different options. Yeah, and yeah, that's it's really good. And now we're gonna go and get another thing that we always buy if we see it: uh, fresh squeezed oranges. So I can see they have different size bottles, and then you just take one. And this thing is literally makes a fresh squeezed juice right, right, right now. And it's always good and sweet. The climax of the Camino de Santiago. We are in Santiago de Compostela at the cathedral on Plaza Obradoiro. And I don't know, probably many of you wonder what next. So you arrive there and what, what, what do you do next? Uh, I know that many people they try to arrive on the last day before midday, before 12 pm, because they want to make it to attend the pilgrims' mass that takes, air, uh, takes place every day at 12 pm at, mid at the midday. But uh, many don't know that you don't go out inside of the cathedral with your backpack. So if you don't have time to go to your hotel or hostel and put down your backpack, there is a storage where you can leave your backpack and fetch it later. So you can go in the cathedral, uh, attend the mass and then just uh, go back and get your backpack. So you can see that it's a square. It's, it's always busy from early morning till late evening. There are pilgrims, just occasional tourists. Everybody walking, taking photos, here is the cathedral. And now we're gonna go to the storage room where you can, where we're gonna drop our backpacks. It is about 500 meters from the square. Let's go! Uh, here we are at the luggage storage and uh, you can see the price, you pay 2 euro to store your backpack here before, before you can go into the cathedral. Uh, it's time to talk about the credential, what it is and why a pilgrim needs it. So the credential is a pilgrim's passport. And first of all, you need it uh, to stay in public albergues. So every public albergue you have come, they will ask you to show your credential. And uh, where you, you get stamp in every albergue. And the second, you need a credential to, in Santiago, when you finish your Camino, to get the Compostela. So, this is, uh, these are our credentials. You can see that's from the outside, how they look. They, they can be different color, it depends on where you get them. You can get them in, uh, in Spain, just before you start your Camino, or in Portugal. Or you can get them in the country of your origin, in your local pilgrim's office. So, uh, it, it's, it's like a pilgrim's passport. Let's see. You open the front page, you fill it with your data, your name, your surname, the country of origin, etc. 
and the inside there's like a it looks like a spreadsheet actually with uh, with spaces where you get uh, you you can get stamps. So these are every, our credentials from a couple of caminos that we walked. You can see there are many stamps everywhere. So you get uh, one stamp at every albergue you stay. It doesn't matter if it's a public albergue or it's a private albergue or it's a hotel on the way because many hotels they they have stamps as well. And uh, so you can see this our credentials they're quite full. It's like all the way from the beginning to the end, there's colorful stamps from different caminos, from different albergues and different bars. And uh, we uh, confirmed in the pilgrim's office in June 2019 that for the last hundred of kilometers of any Camino de Santiago, you need two stamps a day. So don't be, don't worry about it because so first stamp you get in the place you stay, it can be an albergue or a hotel. And the second stamp you can get in a bar, in a restaurant, in a coffee shop. So last 100 kilometers, there are always many places um, on the way, on the route, where you can stop, even if you don't eat there, if you don't drink coffee, you just can go and get a stamp. After the mass, we got back uh, our backpacks and now we're gonna go to the pilgrim's office, which is just there, 50 meters away, uh, to get our compostelas. <laughs> well, usually uh, there are quite a lot of people waiting in the queue, so I'm not, I'm not sure uh, how long we're gonna wait there till we can actually get the, the compostela. Let's go and check it out. Uh, guys, you can see it's, uh, it's season, we're here in June, and this is the queue, all the queue all the way around, uh, of the pilgrims who want to get their Compostela. Wow! Yay! Yay! We got our Compostelas! And guess what, guys? Because that uh, after all the Caminos we've done, we never got Compostelas. We just arrived and there were too many people, and now we, we actually went to get the Compostela for the Camino Inglés that we just finished. And then they looked at our credentials, you can see that's from the last year, from uh, when we started in Lisbon. And then they just looked and asked if we got Compostelas for all the other Caminos that we've done. And we said, no, we never went to, to get them. And they gave us the Compostelas for the last year, for our Camino year. So we have four here. Uh, the Camino Finisterre is a different, they don't give uh, Compostela for that. You get Finisterrana and Musiana, it's, you get it there not here, and the Via de la Plata, we haven't finished it yet, probably we will finish it next year. Yeah, then we have four Compostelas each. Yay! <laughs> so these are uh, Compostelas, you get them for free. They have uh, another one that costs three euro. I don't know, it's more personalized, maybe it has more details on the Camino you walk and uh, says total distance you walk and where you started. But we are quite happy with just the, the original Compostela. But we got this tube. They can get it at the, at the pilgrim's office. It costs actually five euro. Yeah, <laughs> you should have Yo, seen Camel's face. Yeah. Five euro, I thought it was a euro. No, and then, but it is really nice to keep your Compostela safe. We just have eight of them, so that's why it's a bit difficult to roll them. And it's a beautiful tube. <laughs> to roll them that they fit in there. Yeah, it's quite tight fit. Now you close the tube. And this is a treasure box, guys. Eight Compostelas for four Caminos for two people. 
Yay! <laughs> Well, guys, we just had a went out for a drink, and now we came back to our albergue, thinking that everybody is going to be sleeping. And there, here is a party going on. Hey, cheers. cheers. Buen camino. <laughs> so that's how it looks if you have an albergue full of pilgrims. Everybody wants to work. So people don't let other people wash dishes. And uh, you can see. There's not a chance we can wash dishes here. Hi, uh, my name is Campbell. Uh, I'm just asking people a little bit about the Camino. Um, what Camino did you walk? Uh, Camino uh, Portuguese. Camino oh, Portuguese? Yes. Um, from Porto? No, from Porto, from Valencia. Oh, from Valencia. How long did it take? Valencia. No, Valencia, Valencia. How Valencia, long? yeah, yes, Valencia. Yes. How yes. long did it take you? Uh, five days. Five days? Yes. And it was good? That's good, absolutely, yes. Well, congratulations on finishing it. It's yes. awesome to get Thank you from so Pistela. Thank you so much. Thank you. Which Camino did you deserve? Which Camino did you deserve? Oh, that's very nice. We walked that last year. Yes, we did. Yeah. Very nice. You enjoyed it? Yes, we did. And the weather, what's good? Absolute weekend. I am, I'm One day with light way, and all the other days, a very good way. Yes, for the Primitivo, you're very lucky. Yes, indeed. such good weather. Especially in the Astur. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, well, well done. Congratulations. Okay. Hi guys, I see you've got your Compostela. Yes. Uh, what Camino did you do? The French one. The French one. All the way from St. John? Yes. Wow. Yes, yeah, it's impressive. How long did it take you? Long time. Six weeks. We left on the 26th of April. Yes, and you arrived today? Mm -hmm. Yes. Must have been a awesome feeling. It was absolutely awesome. Yes, I did are. tear up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank really well you. done. No, no, it <laughs> was The not. toughest line was in Ranzabayas, trying to get our room. Oh, oh, yes. You waited more than an hour and a half? Forever. Oh, yes. After yes. a brutal day on the mountain. Coming down. Where are you from? Uh, I'm originally German, but living in Ireland. Okay, and you just finished uh, which Camino? The Camino de Frances. You started in St. John? St. John, yeah. Yes, uh, it's a long way. How long did it take you? What was it? 780? 780 kilometers? Like uh, 30... I can't remember. Okay, well, I got lost for time. 35 days. 35 days. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Well done. And you guys walk together? We walked together, yeah. Wow. I know. I know right yesterday. You were on yesterday. Yeah, I know yesterday. Yeah. Also, also, in, yeah, also the French way, I start in Saint Jean at first. Yes. I have one day off in Lyon, so I need 30 days. Okay, great. Oh. Well, well done. And you are from? I'm from Germany.